The dilution equation is an equation that's used when we know the concentration in molarity of a concentrated solution, and then we add water to it, and we want to figure out what's the concentration of my dilute solution in the molarity. So if we look at the pictures here, a concentrated solution, again, in molarity is moles per one liter of solution, so moles of, moles of solute, so that could be any compound here. When it's concentrated, we have more moles of my substance versus my dilute solution. Dilute means we added water to that solution, so now we have less moles of my compound in a specific volume. The formula that you do need to remember is M1V1 is equal to M2V2. M1 stands for the concentration in molarity, and this is of your concentrated solution. Versus, and then it's times the volume of your concentrated solution is equal to the molarity, that's your concentration for your dilute solution, times the volume of your dilute solution. So if we wanted to do an example here, we have a 12 molar potassium chloride solution, and we want to know how much of the solution am I going to need if I have to make 5 liters of a 1.50 molar solution. So one thing with these problems is determining which one is your concentrated solution, which one is your dilute solution. The concentrated solution is always going to be the one with the larger number. Okay, so this is my concentrated versus my dilute solution. So for my molarities, the larger the number, that means it's your concentrated. So let's write that down. We have a molarity for concentrated of 12 molar. We have a molarity of a dilute of 1.50 zero molar. We are given the volume that we want to make of our new solution. The volume of the dilute is 5 liters. And then the volume of the concentrated is what we're trying to find. And then you would know your formula M1V1 is equal to M2V2. That's the formula we want to use. And again, we're making sure that the concentrated um, the M1 and the V1 are together, and then my dilute, the M2, V2 numbers are together. So we just plug in 12.0 molarity times V1 is my unknown. M2 is my dilute solution is 1.500 M. And that's multiplied by the volume of the dilute that we're making. And then we're just going to solve for V1. To solve for V1, we just divide both sides by 12 molar so that we can cancel 12 molar on the left and get V1 by itself. So then we can cancel out our molarity units. We're left with liters, which is a volume um, unit. So that makes sense. When we do the math, we have 1.5 times 5 divided by 12 gives me 0.6. 25 liters. Now that's the volume of the concentrated solution that I'll be adding water to. So the next question says, how many liters of water was added to make this dilute solution? This slide will help us visually um, determine how much water was added to make our dilute solution. So on the previous slide, we saw that um, it's going to take 0 0.625 liters of a 12 molar solution is what we calculated. So that's the quantity here. We put that into our volumetric flask. So down here we have 0 0.625 liters of my concentrated solution. Now in the volumetric flask, it measures exactly to 5 liters. When we fill it up with water, so the bottom of the meniscus touches the top of that line, that's exactly 5.00 liters. Um, so we put in 0.625 liters of our concentrated solution. We add water the rest of the way up to get a total volume of 5 liters. So we're trying to figure out how much water was added. That's our unknown. So we can simply subtract that to determine that quantity. So in our problem, we had 5.00 liters minus 0 0.625 liters of the concentrated. So this was total solution. This was the amount of concentrated solution. We're trying to find the amount of water in liters. So when we do the subtraction, we get 4.375 liters of water.
That's how much water was added to make our dilute solution. In this example, we want to prepare 1.5 liters of a 3 molar solution from a 15 molar solution. So again, we know this is a dilution problem, so we'll be using the formula M1V1 is equal to M2V2. So we want to identify the molarity of our concentrated solution. So that, again, has to be the larger number. We have a 15 molar solution and a 3 molar. 3 molar means that we added water to our 15 molar to dilute it to get a concentration with a smaller amount. Because again, it's the moles per liter. Same volume, they're each a liter, higher moles. So molarity of concentrated is 15 moles, 15 molar. The volume is we're trying to figure out how much of this concentrated solution do we need to make our dilute. The molarity of the dilute is the smaller concentration, so it's 3 molar, and the volume of our dilute solution is going to be 1.50. So again, we're figuring out how much volume of the concentrated solution will we need to take that 50 molar solution, add water to get a total volume of 1.5 liters with a 3 molar concentration. So then we just plug into our formula. M1 is 15 molar. V1 is our unknown. M2 is 3 molar. And V2 is 1.50 liters. We want to get V1 by itself, so we divide both sides by 15 molar. This is going to give us V1 by itself. We cancel the 15 molar. We can cancel the molar on the right hand side. So we have 3 times 1.5 divided by 15. That comes out to 0 0.30 liters. And again, that's my concentrated solution, the 15 molar that I'm going to be using to make my total solution. Next question says how much water was added to dilute the solution. So like in the previous example, we can imagine we have this flask here. The total volume on my flask I'm going to measure is 1.5 liters. That's my total solution. I'm adding in 0 0.30 liters. I want to figure out what part of this was water. So again, we can just subtract like we did in our previous example. So we have 1.5 liters total solution minus the amount of concentrated solution is 0.3. So the difference here, we have 1.20 liters of water that was added to my solution.